kitchen again where Chef Ricardo cooking show is amazing to be in the kitchen. Anyway, curry goat is a must and Christmas day guys and you know what I mean I'm gonna show you I start to marinate my meat now and I wanna show you how to marinate your curry goat seize it put in some flavor before Christmas day all right first thing let's go into business this is the curry goat right here and I'm gonna show you exactly I just wash off my curry goat with some lemon juice or you can use white vinegar it's up to you guys what you want to use I'm gonna be using the Jamaican volley curry powder very good very nice flavor everything and put some of the Jamaican Valley season on it Mwah! it's gonna be amazing so let's do business in the kitchen now guys all right guys chef Ricardo is in the kitchen no time to mock about Merry Christmas nice so basically this is the meat wash off drain everything lovely and nice first thing let's put some time on it that's got the time is a must that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to it and also I have three cove of garlic right here what I'm going to do is Crush the garlic just like this, and that's two, and that's three. As the cook on goes along, you can add more garlic. All right, this is some white onion which I'm going to be using. Put a little bit of white onion in it, just like that, and also some spring onion that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. Nice and lovely. Then what we're going to do next is just put a little pinch of scotch bonnet pepper. Not too much because we don't want it to too spicy, you know. Nice and lovely. So that's the scotch bonnet pepper. Also, you can put a pinch of ginger. Not too much. Just a little piece of a ginger. Few slices. Bring in a lovely flavor. Also, a little pimento seed. Nice to go with it when you're cooking, guys. Please do not touch the pepper. Put away everything when you marinate your, your meat. Like, you know what I mean, using it. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to put on some of the Jamaican Valley all-purpose season. That's, we're gonna put on at least roughly about two tablespoons of the Jamaican Valley all-purpose season. And also a little bit of the chicken season. Then next, what we're going to do is put on the curry powder. We're going to put one, two large tablespoons of the Jamaican Valley curry powder. Season is amazing season, guys. If it doesn't start to use it, give it a go. Then what you're going to do, you can add a lot more garlic and a lot more. Um, basically, I have some extra goat season left back which I was using earlier and I'm gonna put on a large tablespoon of the goat season this is some goat season it's really nice to use the goat season and it bring in a lovely flavor then what you're gonna do rub it up like this you know what I mean you can please use gloves if you have gloves at home that would be much better make sure you get your meat season properly this Christmas guys is very important all right so what you can do you can add more garlic and more white onion on you know to it if you like and some more spring onion but as I'm saying please get your meat marinate before Christmas all right so do you saw that look nice and lovely yes that's exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about right there guys that is amazing look at that lovely tasty and nice so what you do when you marinate it put it into a bag and put it in straight in your freezer freeze it until the day before Christmas take out your meat tout with that lovely flavor cook it for about roughly about one and a half hour when the meat gets soft add a little bit of carrot and a little bit of potato some more season chop up some more thyme and garlic and everything put it on it and make it Cook down and bring in the Christmas flavor in the curry goat. All right, guys. Jamaican Valley curry powder is the best to use on the market. Look at it. Really nice, rich flavor, tasty. Everything good to go with the Jamaican Valley curry powder. I love you all, guys. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you the next part, too.